say it the way it's supposed to be. I want to tell y'all a story. Especially how I ended up here. This casket. Something. I always believed that whenever you do something right for somebody, it's not supposed to be in void. My best friend had to actually get taken from me. We was just chilling one day. Walking down the street, we was at an actual party. Man, was it turned up. Everybody was everywhere. You already know females was on your pool. You already know I'm saying. I'm just, yeah. But really, we had fun. There was no problems. Everybody, everybody had a good time. <laughs> he was the birthday boy. And then... Me and him, we couldn't be no closer. Like, you couldn't think of nobody closer than we were. So that night, me and him, we just went to the store. You know, we ran out of food supplies. And he asked me, he was like, come with me, man. I was like, so. Walked down the street to the liquor store. Got some stuff. Left the liquor store. I, myself... I thought it was, you know, I forgot something. It was an Arizona. What a coincidence. Walked in there, got it back. As soon as I exited the store, so my best friend ran across the street with somebody. Arguing. Going back and forth. I can hear them. I can still hear their yells to this day ringing in my head. Him cussing at this dude, the dude cussing at him. Part of me was telling me to run over there, help your boy. But my legs refused to move. I regret that. I regret it because as soon as I just stood there for one second, turned around to look. Turn my head back, I see this dude pull out a gun and shoot him right in front of my face. Dude broke off, my friend just falling to the ground, me running toward him. Getting down on both knees to actually see him and yelling, No! No! Jamal, come on! Come on, man, get up! Get up! Somebody get help! <laughs> Me having this blood on my hands. <laughs> Me with the fury inside. I still remember walking to his family's house. And them looking at me and blaming his death on me. Them looking at me dead in the face telling me that I can't even go to his funeral. Saying that I should have done something. I blame myself for his death every single day of my life. Think about everything I just said. It's a tragic game. There's one more secret that I would help. The person in this casket is actually me. That was crazy, bro.